Folks, it's me. Um, sorry about my hair. I just got off for work and it was windy outside. It's just a mess, I know. Um, if you're wondering what makeup I am wearing, all over my lid is um, Peach Pop from Clinique. The crease is Metropolitan in Essence. The brow bone is mixed with Max Rice Paper and Essence's um, Party All Night. Um, liquid liner is Stila. And then the lashes are number 46 from Cherry Blossom. So, anyways, this is a quick mini haul of what I got at Ulta. Um, so, Revlon right now is having their buy one, get one 50% off. And I got some nail polish. They kind of like, I guess this is a new line of their nail polish called the Perfumery or Perfume something. I'm probably messing it up, but these are buy one, get one half off. They go for $5.99. Um, this is Winter Mint. And then this is moonlit woods which is like a nice shimmery deep lilac and this swatch on my hand is from NYX's um, fat eye marker liquid liner this goes for $9.99 I would highly recommend this over Stila's liquid liner that I always use um, I do like the Stila liquid liner it's done me justice and I've had it for a long time it's long lasting um, but I noticed the felt tip at the bottom of the pen, it starts to bend, and I don't like that. I like that this is stiff, and that it just goes across, um, but the Stila one kind of drags, and then it can mess you up, and I don't want to pay $20 a pop every time to, you know, repurchase my liquid liner, so I'm going to stick with this one from NYX, which was $9.99 at Ulta. Next is... These, um, this is new Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm, and this is in the color 125 Flirtatious. Yeah, Flirtatious. And I seen that, um, it's Judy Time on her, um, video, her shared a review on this. She talked about this, and there was other gurus as well on youtube that talked about the color burst and this has moisture in it so i probably will blog about this um tonight also i'm not really it's hard for me to get into matte lipsticks just because this winter is so cold and it just dries my lips out but now i just put gloss on top of some of my matte lipsticks this is the revlon color burst matte balm in the color 225 sultry and this is kind of a deep mauve color. And then I got, this is the um, Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain in Honey Number 1, which is a natural color. And then, excuse me, this is Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain in Smitten Number 30, which is more of a berry color. So Ulta right now for all Revlon, it's um, buy one, get one half off. You can mix and match the products. Um, I will have a review probably up tonight. Um, I do have a review on my Tumblr, Lobotomy Sorenzo, on the Revlon um, Age Defined Concealer and the CC Cream. And also on the Stay Matte um, Pressed Powder from Rimmel. So go ahead and check out my blog. And also... Um, I know there's a big craze right now with um, face oils. I know that every brand, cheap to high end, all have face oils. My skin lately has been crazy. Um, I don't know why. But last night I was putting on a face cream from Lancome, a night cream, that I've been using for six to seven months. And it burned me all here, just red. And it was terrible. And it hurt really bad. Um... I still use other skincare. I use a little bit of um, L'Oreal and I use, um, I'm trying to think, sorry, L'Oreal and Origins um, skincare, but I do need to just kind of start new. So I've been hearing about Fresh's Sea Berry Face Oil and they, the, con the consultant at Sephora, the, the girls there know me already, um, she recommended mixing this with the the night cream you just need two to three droplets in the cream you mix it up and warm it on your face you can mix it with a night cream but she said it's optional but you do put it in your hands you warm it up in your hands and then you put it on at night and you dab kind of push it into your skin not rub but push into your skin um 
I also have the Cora's Pomegranate Balancing Cream Gel in a sample from Sephora. Um, this is a day cream, I'm guessing, yes. Yes. And then I have the Cora's um, Greek Yogurt Sleeping Facial Night Cream. Um, and then I also have the Josie Marion Argan Light Oil. And um, the reason why I asked for these samples is because my skin is just... Like I said, just driving me nuts lately, and I need to just stick to one regimen instead of just mixing. And I know sometimes we all can overload on skincare, but you really don't need a lot at, you know, at night. You're supposed to just cleanse your face. And of course, I wash my face, you know, take all my makeup off, makeup remover, and then I wash my face. And then after that, I tone it. I put a toner. And then after a toner, I put my serum. And I do that. Um, after, like I let my face kind of dry and then I put under eye cream because I have dark circles that's just inherited and then right before bed, like say hours later right before I'm going to sleep, then I'll put my night cream now, some of you are probably like that is overload on your skin well, not really serums um, are supposed to be put on the face before the night cream because the night cream is supposed to keep your face hydrated overnight because overnight when you're sleeping your skin just loses the moisture and then in the morning the next day what I do when I get ready to put on my makeup and stuff and get ready for the day I cleanse my face in the morning with L'Oreal's um, gel cleanser the youth code one it's a foaming gel cleanser and then um, I put of course my gin not ginseng um, the doctor wheel brightening under eye cream from origins and then I put on my day cream from Lancome usually, um, but today I put on the ginseng energizing moisturizer, so I haven't had a problem with it yet, but I know I need to stick to just one, so hopefully things will go good. So I will have a review tonight probably, if not tonight, tomorrow on the Revlon um, lip crayons. Um, the polishes, I probably won't probably review about it, unless I really want to. Um... And then when it's been about at least a week or two, I will review all the samples that I got from Sephora. So, um, hope this video helps. Hope you like it. Please subscribe. Leave comments below. Um, inbox me, whatever. Twitter is LadyPineapple26 on Twitter. My Instagram is Levon underscore in underscore Wonderland. Not Levon, it's Lena in Wonderland. Sorry, guys. I'm just, like, thinking about my blog. So, all right, guys. See you guys later in Toodles.